Hi, Corey Kroll here with another live time training video. Today's video will be about the timetable countdown feature. So let's say that you're starting a race or you're starting an event and you want the system to announce how many minutes before the race begins or maybe have the system finish a race automatically for you or switch to the next race. Well, you're in luck. Lifetime has those features built in. To activate them, though, you'll need to click on the timer in the lower right or lower left hand corner. In the lower right is a clock, and by the way, if you maximize live time, it'll take up the entire window and cover up your clock, so you can use this one to tell what time it is. So by clicking on this timetable settings section in the lower left, you will need to have an event selected already before you can go here, otherwise it'll tell you to choose one. By default, you'll have no timetable, but you have two other options here. The second one is countdowns between races, which is what we'll use. The detailed timetable section, I'll do another video, and you can actually schedule out your full timetable, so how much time between each race and breaks and all sorts of other goodies. But uh, I'll go into countdowns here first because that's what I think most people are used to, especially if you used other timing software in the past. So when I click on this, uh, you'll notice the options here is I have ability to advance to the next race after a race is finished. So after the finish button is either clicked or automatically finished for you. Uh, you have an ability to have a countdown uh, to the start of the race. This is set for two minutes by default. You can set this to be higher and if you use this next option, announce time leading up to the start of the race, it will announce every minute and then in 15 second intervals in the last minute. So 45 seconds, 30 minutes, 15 seconds. You know, I actually also have it automatically start the race. I'm going to turn on all these options just so you can have an idea of how they all work. You hit preview here to listen One to One minute it. to the start of the race. So you can hear that as well. By the way, if you want to change the voice, you can go into the settings area here and change it. Depending on what Windows operating system you're using, you'll have different voices available and you can choose what's ever available to you. Also, you hear you have this automatically finish the race. Now, this is not checked by default because it's somewhat dangerous. You have to really know what you're doing when you turn it on. This will automatically click finish for you after a certain amount of seconds after the timer is expired. So if you're running a five minute race, what this says here is that seven minutes, so two minutes after the five minutes is up, is when it will stop. Now if you're running a staggered race, you want to make sure that everyone is over the line over those two minutes. I mean, there should be plenty of time, but just be aware. If you set this to something like zero seconds, the moment that the race finishes, everyone, it's like clicking finish, and if other people are running staggered you know, on their own clock and don't cross the finish line yet, they're not going to get that last lap. So be very careful in what you set this, and make sure that this is at least probably twice the amount of time that you'd expect a typical lap to be at a minimum. You can certainly play around with this on your own time, just be aware of what it does. Now you'll notice that I'm setting up these options, but nothing's happening yet, but this but in the lower left it says click the race screen to start the timetable. So as soon as I go to an actual race screen here, the timetable will begin. So let's do that now. Two minutes to the start of the race. Okay, so the announcement has been made and the timer starts ticking down here where I have um, two minutes left. Now you'll also notice some VCR buttons in the lower left here. If I want to pause that timer I can do it and it just pauses it. So it's at a minute 47 but Maybe as a race director I want to make some announcements or give some more time or something's on the track where they need to repair it before the race begins. If I just want to hit play, I can just continue the countdown and it, it goes where it left off. Now if I want to gain some time, like hey everyone's set up early or I want the timer to get closer, I can either give this, you know, take away um, 10 seconds, being fast forward in time to get closer to when it's going to start, or I can rewind and I can adjust the clock appropriately. So here I'm going to rewind to 226 and then bump myself up here to, to get to almost two minutes and you'll notice that it announces it again. Two minutes to the start of the race. So as soon as it crosses that threshold it will make the announcement again. So you can play the time and kind of work through this a little bit. I'll get down to, um, to one minute here and I'll let you hear some of the um, one minute 45 second just to give you an idea of what that does here. One minute to the start of the race. Now, as a reminder, too, in parentheses, it says here auto start. If I didn't have that set, that wouldn't be shown. So this is telling you this is going to auto start when it reaches zero. So I'll get to um, the final time, and 
I'm not going to click anything. You notice my mouse isn't even over the start button. But at zero, the race has begun. So we're starting to race here. Um, you know, I'm simulating a fake race with some um, people here I've entered into the system. Now, um, now, this is just a normal race being run. We're just kind of running some laps and things here. You'll notice at the bottom here it says waiting for the race timer to expire. So the timetable is still running. It's just waiting for the, the race to finish. Um, now, and by finish, I don't necessarily mean the whole race to finish, but the race timer. So once the timer here gets down to zero, that will start the two minutes before it will auto finish the race because that's how we set it up. Now I waited for some time here, so if you notice, if you're really sharp and looking at it, you'll notice that some of the car numbers turned red because the system thought that those people were broke. Basically, the, the, it's been way too long since they've gotten a lap, uh, their average lap, so it marked them as such. Okay, we're about to expire here. Okay, now at this very moment, you know, people are going to come over, they're going to be on their final lap and their staggered clock, but... Um, if they don't finish within the two minutes here, this race is going to finish and it's going to mark them wherever they're at. So I'm going to fast forward here to 10 seconds. And once this timer is expired, this race is going to be automatically finished for me. Okay, you know, so they all turn gray, it's saved, and here we go. Um, the system right now is just printing out the results and once that's finished, okay, here's my print going. Um, I print to a PDF printer so it's going to probably show me a, a option here, but it would go to your printer if you're using that. And Two now, minutes to the start of the race. Because we also said automatically go to the next race, it just went ahead and did so. So now um, we're in race two and it's counting down. So if you set all the options on, the system can basically completely run itself. You don't need to be here starting and stopping anything. Um, you just need to kind of pay attention if you have a bad lap or something along that route. But you can set up all the automation here. So if you want to turn this off at any time, you can just go ahead and click back on the timetable settings. And you could switch this from countdowns to no timetable. Once that's set, I go back to the race. I can just run it all manually as you may have been used to already. Hopefully this video shows you a bit more about the timetable and the countdown and what it can do to automate and help you run races throughout your event. Uh, we'll do another video on the detailed timetable later. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in future videos.